Timing is crucial when harvesting jalapeno peppers. Picking them too early might result in less flavor. On the other hand, waiting too long can lead to over-ripening. This balance ensures you get the best taste and texture. Therefore, understanding when to harvest is key. Harvesting at the right time also affects the plant's health. Early harvesting can encourage more pepper production. Letting peppers stay too long can stress the plant. This might reduce the yield in future harvests. Moreover, timing influences the pepper's heat level. Jalapenos can get hotter the longer they stay on the plant. If you prefer milder peppers, you might want to pick them sooner. Conversely, for a spicier kick, wait a bit longer. To sum up, knowing when to pick jalapenos impacts flavor, plant health, and spiciness. Therefore, timing isn't just about preference, but also about optimizing your harvest. Jalapeno peppers go through several stages of growth. Initially, they appear as small green buds. At this stage, they are not ready for harvesting. These buds grow and elongate over time. The first stage suitable for harvesting is when peppers are green and firm. Many people prefer them at this stage. They have a bright, fresh flavor and moderate heat. This stage typically occurs 70 to 85 days after planting. If left on the plant, jalapenos will start to change color. They may turn from green to dark green, then to black. Eventually, they become red. Each color change indicates a different flavor profile and heat level. Red jalapenos are often sweeter and spicier. Understanding these stages helps you decide when to harvest. Depending on your taste preference, you might pick them green or wait until they turn red. Either way, knowing the stages is essential for a successful harvest. Visual cues are important when determining if jalapenos are ready to harvest. The most obvious sign is the color. Green jalapenos are common, but they can also turn red, yellow, or black. Each color indicates a different stage of ripeness. Texture is another key indicator. Ready-to-pick jalapenos should be firm. If they feel soft, they might be overripened. Firmness ensures that the pepper has the right amount of water and nutrients. Check for a shiny surface. A glossy skin means the pepper is fresh and full of flavor. Dull or wrinkled skin might indicate that the pepper is past its prime. This is especially true if the pepper feels soft to the touch. Finally, size matters. While size can vary, most jalapenos are ready to be picked when they are 2 to 3 inches long. Smaller peppers might not have developed their full flavor yet. Larger ones might be overripe and less tasty. Beginners often make mistakes when harvesting jalapenos. One common error is picking too early. Early picked peppers may lack flavor and heat. Always wait until they are firm and have a glossy skin. Another mistake is leaving peppers on the plant for too long. Overripe peppers can become soft and lose their flavor. They might also stress the plant, reducing future yields. Regularly check your plants to avoid this issue. Using the wrong tools can damage the plant. Avoid pulling peppers off by hand. This can harm the stem and affect future growth. Instead, use garden shears or scissors. Finally, not checking for pests is a common mistake. Pests can damage your peppers, making them unfit for consumption. Regularly inspect your plants for signs of pests and take action if needed. Section 5. Tips for Improving Pepper Quality Improving pepper quality starts with good soil. Use well-draining soil rich in organic matter. This ensures your plants get the nutrients they need. Consider adding compost or fertilizer to boost growth. Watering is crucial. Jalapenos need consistent moisture. However, avoid overwatering as it can lead to root rot. A good rule of thumb is to water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Pruning can also improve quality. Remove any dead or yellowing leaves. This allows the plant to focus its energy on producing healthy peppers. Regularly inspect your plants and prune as needed. Finally, consider using mulch. Mulch helps retain soil moisture and keeps weeds at bay. It can also improve soil quality over time. Spread a layer of mulch around your plants for best results. Section 6. Factors Affecting Jalapeno Pepper Growth Several factors can affect the growth of jalapeno peppers. One of the most important is sunlight. Jalapenos need at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight daily. Insufficient light can lead to poor growth and low yields. Temperature is another crucial factor. Jalapenos thrive in warm conditions. Ideal temperatures range from 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 60 to 70 degrees at night. Extreme temperatures can stress the plant and affect pepper quality. Pests and diseases are also common issues. Aphids, spider mites, and white flies can damage your plants. 
regularly inspect your garden and use natural or chemical remedies as needed. Diseases like bacterial spots can also affect your peppers. Ensure good airflow and avoid overhead watering to minimize risk. Lastly, proper spacing is important. Crowded plants compete for nutrients and sunlight. Space your jalapeno plants at least 18 to 24 inches apart. This allows each plant to grow well and produce quality peppers. Section 7. The Role of Soil and Water in Pepper Development Soil and water play a significant role in the development of jalapeno peppers. Well-draining soil is essential. It prevents water from pooling around the roots which can cause rot. Sandy loam soil is often recommended for pepper plants. Soil pH also matters. Jalapenos prefer slightly acidic to neutral soil, with a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. You can test your soil's pH using a home test kit. Adjust the pH as needed to create the best growing conditions. Watering should be consistent but not excessive. Overwatering can lead to root problems and affect pepper quality. Aim to keep the soil evenly moist. Watering in the morning is best. It allows the soil to dry out during the day, reducing the risk of fungal diseases. Mulching can help maintain soil moisture. It also keeps the soil temperature stable, benefiting root development. Organic mulches like straw or wood chips are good options. Apply a layer of mulch around your plants but keep it away from the stems to prevent rot. Section 8. Tools and Equipment for Harvesting Using the right tools and equipment can make harvesting jalapenos easier. Garden gloves protect your hands from the pepper's natural oils. These oils can cause irritation, especially if you touch your eyes. Sharp scissors or pruning shears are essential. They allow you to cut the peppers cleanly without damaging the plant. Dull tools can tear the stems, affecting future growth. A harvesting basket or container is useful. It helps you collect the peppers without damaging them. Choose a container with ventilation to keep the peppers fresh. Finally, a garden trowel can be handy. It helps with any necessary soil adjustments or planting new seeds. Keeping your tools clean and in good condition ensures they last longer and work more effectively. Section 9. Storing and Preserving Harvested Peppers Once you've harvested your jalapenos, proper storage is crucial. Fresh jalapenos can be kept in the refrigerator. Place them in a plastic bag or container. They should last for up to two weeks. Freezing is another option. Wash and dry the peppers thoroughly, then place them in a freezer bag. They can last up to a year in the freezer. This method preserves their flavor and heat. Pickling is a popular way to preserve jalapenos. Slice the peppers and place them in a jar with vinegar, water, and salt. They can last for several months when refrigerated. Pickled jalapenos are great for adding to sandwiches and salads. Drying is also effective. Use a dehydrator or oven set to a low temperature. Once dried, store the peppers in an airtight container. Dried jalapenos can be ground into powder or rehydrated for cooking. Section 10, Culinary Uses for Jalapeno Peppers. Jalapeno peppers are versatile in the kitchen. They add heat and flavor to various dishes. Fresh jalapenos can be sliced and added to salads or sandwiches. They give a spicy kick and a crunchy texture. Cooking with jalapenos brings out their flavor. They can be sauteed, grilled, or roasted. These methods enhance their natural sweetness and reduce some heat. Jalapenos are great in stir-fries, tacos, and pasta dishes. Stuffed jalapenos are a popular appetizer. Fill them with cheese, meat, or rice and bake until tender. This dish showcases the pepper's flavor and provides a delicious snack or starter. Finally, jalapenos can be used in sauces and salsas. Blend them with tomatoes, onions, and cilantro for a spicy salsa, or add them to marinades and dressings for extra heat. Jalapenos elevate the flavor profile of many recipes. Section 11. Additional resources and advice. For those interested in learning more about pepper gardening, several resources are available. Gardening books often have chapters dedicated to peppers. They provide in-depth information about planting, growing, and harvesting. Online forums and communities can be helpful. They allow you to connect with other gardeners and share tips. Websites dedicated to gardening often have articles and videos about jalapenos. Local agricultural extensions offer advice tailored to your region. They can provide information about the best varieties and growing conditions. Attending gardening workshops or classes is also beneficial. Lastly, don't hesitate to experiment and learn from your experiences. Each growing season offers new lessons. Keep a gardening journal to track what works and what doesn't. Over time, you'll become more skilled at growing and harvesting jalapeno peppers.